Thanks for joining us to learn more about the American College of Veterinary Preventive Medicine, a specialty organization aimed at promoting the improvement of animal, human, and environmental health since its inception in 1950. To learn more, visit our website at acvpm.org. The field of veterinary preventive medicine addresses the detection, prevention, and control of diseases affecting the food we eat, animals, and the general public. Because of the wide scope of this endeavor, collaborative efforts between animal and human health professionals, commercial organizations, and agencies across local, state, national, and international levels is necessary. Pictured here is one of our diplomates, Dr. Morgan Hennessy, who's currently with USDA APHIS, but at the time this picture was taken was the CDC EIS officer at the Ebola response in West Africa. The ACVPM is an AVMA-recognized veterinary specialty organization offering board certification in veterinary preventive medicine with the option of a specialty in epidemiology. Becoming a diplomate of the ACVPM means joining some of the most distinguished veterinary professionals in preventive medicine and public health at national and international levels. According to our members, some of the reasons they became ACVPM diplomates include achieving a personal goal and that the specialty aligns with their current training or their future career goals. Others said it increased their job or hiring opportunities, and once hired, it led to promotion opportunities. There are some jobs with the Army and some government positions that offer financial incentives for board certification, referred to as specialty pay. Some jobs have board certification as a requirement, and our diplomates chose veterinary preventive medicine. Peer recognition was yet another reason for becoming an ACVPM diplomate, as well as networking with other professionals. ACVPM diplomates are able to network with professionals with similar interests. As of December 2019, there are 890 active diplomates and 235 emeritus members, making the ACVPM over 1,100 members strong. You might be wondering, how can I become an ACVPM diplomate? Diplomates must apply for and successfully complete a board certification exam. Applicants for the ACVPM exam must be a graduate from a school or college of veterinary medicine accredited by the AVMA, or they must possess a certificate from the Educational Commission for Foreign Veterinary Graduates of the AVMA, or be legally qualified as in licensed to practice veterinary medicine in some state, province, territory, or possession of the United States or in another country. Applicants must have a history of unquestionable moral character and professional behavior, as well as having a total of four years of combined qualifying experience after the veterinary degree in three or more areas of veterinary preventive medicine as defined in Article 2 of the ACVPM Constitution. We'll talk more about that. There are a variety of ways to gain experience, and while no residency is required, two training programs exist and are discussed next. Applicants must submit the exam fee with their application for full consideration. The ACVPM does not require residency, but there are two training programs that have attained ACVPM recognition and certification by demonstrating how the didactic courses or training and the clinical experiences prepare candidates for the ACVPM board certification examination. Those programs, as of December of 2019, include the University of Minnesota's Veterinary Public Health and Preventive Medicine Residency and The Ohio State University's Veterinary Public Health Program. More information about these programs can be found on their websites as well as the ACVPM website under Continuing Education Training Programs. While the residency programs can provide two years of the required four years experience post-veterinary graduation, work experience is also needed to qualify to sit the exam. Applicants gain experience through working in a variety of careers. Current diplomates can be found in all aspects of veterinary medicine, from private clinical practice, industry, academia, uniform services, as well as the government, state, federal, local, even international, are all opportunities to gain more experience in veterinary preventive medicine. There are five main focus areas of veterinary preventive medicine, and applicants must have experience in three or more of them to be qualified to take the exam. Those five areas are described next. The specialty of veterinary preventive medicine is concerned with improving animal and human health 
through surveillance, recognition, prevention, control, and management of diseases affecting livestock, poultry, wildlife, zoo, and companion animals. This is the backbone of what many private practitioners do every single day. Pictured here is one of our diplomates, Dr. Stacy Schwabenlander, performing tuberculosis testing. Stacy has been in private practice as well as working for the Minnesota Board of Animal Health. Another focus area is the prevention and control of zoonotic diseases and foodborne illnesses. Pictured here are two of our diplomates, Dr. Brian Buss on the left, working with the U.S. Public Health Service, vaccinating animals in Haiti. And on the right is Dr. Julie Lenick, performing a swine disease investigation as part of her job with USDA's Centers for Epidemiology and Animal Health. The third focus area is the reduction of bites, injuries, and other environmental and occupational human health hazards related to animals. Here is Dr. Daniel Bucky, pictured holding a black-footed ferret while working for the National Park Service, and she's wearing personal protective equipment while handling wildlife as one of the efforts to prevent an occupational exposure. The fourth focus area is promoting food safety and wholesomeness. Dr. Julie Lenick, a diplomate who works for USDA, Centers for Epidemiology and Animal Health, is pictured here walking through an outbreak investigation involving food. Many veterinarians in the military are involved with food safety inspections, and those that work for USDA's FSIS do that as part of their job. So if these are areas of interest for you, you may explore becoming a diplomate in the American College of Veterinary Preventive Medicine. Lastly, the fifth focus area is the promotion of humane animal care and use of animals in animal-facilitated therapy. This is a continuously growing area. Emotional support animals, people handling animals in different events with exhibitions, becomes more and more of a public focus, and it's something veterinary preventive medicine does well. Pictured here, supporting the sled dogs, is Dr. Susan Miller, another one of our ACVPM diplomates. So now that we've learned what it takes to apply for the exam, let's talk a little bit about the exam logistics. The ACVPM exam is offered every June at The Ohio State University College of Veterinary Medicine. It is a two-day exam with short answer and essay on day one and 300 multiple choice questions on day two. The exam is taken on candidates' own laptop computers. The exam is scored and results are known 45 days later. Pictured here is Dr. Lisa Conti, an ACVPM diplomate and chair of the exam committee in 2019, as she's preparing the students for the logistics of taking one of the days of the exam. The ACVPM exam consists of five different subject areas, environmental health and toxicology, epidemiology and biostatistics, food protection, infectious disease and parasitic diseases, which includes immunology information, and lastly, Public Health Administration and Health Education. Pictured here is Dr. Katie Portacci, one of our diplomates who works for USDA APHIS Veterinary Services. She was involved with the vesicular stomatitis outbreak in Colorado. Outbreaks involving diseases such as vesicular stomatitis and other current events are often included on the exam. You may be wondering, what is the overall pass rate for the ACVPM exam? Looking at averages dating back to 2010, those that took the exam for the first time have the best pass rate at 65.8%. If you do not pass either the essay or a multiple choice section, or both, you can retake the exam after paying a retake fee. Those that took one or more parts a second time had a pass rate of just over 60%. When we explore further, those that took the exam three or more times only had a pass rate of 30.8%. These numbers are shared annually with the AVMAs American Board of Veterinary Specialties that oversees the 22 AVMA-recognized veterinary specialty organizations. The pass rate for ACVPM is in line with other specialty colleges. You can visit the ABVS website and learn more about all other specialties. To best position yourself to pass the exam on the first attempt, the ACVPM provides guidance on their website, acvpm.org, to prepare for the exam. Each year, the exam subject matter experts, who are diplomates, update the study references document. Also on the website are some of the previous year's essay questions with acceptable answers. These serve as an excellent example of the breadth and depth of topics 
and expectations for the knowledge potential diplomates must have. The epidemiology specialty is affiliated with the American College of Veterinary Preventive Medicine. The specialty recognizes diplomates of the college who have an active interest in epidemiology and demonstrate competency in the teaching, research, or practice of epidemiology in ways that promote the use and development of epidemiology. The exam is one day, essay only. Pictured here is Dr. Morgan Hennessy with a key deer, which is one of the species that were impacted by the New World screwworm outbreak. Dr. Hennessy works for USDA APHIS, which was the lead federal agency in charge of the control and eradication of the New World screwworm outbreak. The American College of Veterinary Preventive Medicine is focused on advancing veterinary public health and preventive medicine. This is accomplished through professional development and growth in the fields of public health, epidemiology, and preventive medicine. More than half of all the AVMA Public Service Award recipients are ACVPM diplomates. Consider joining this group of distinguished veterinarians by becoming boarded in veterinary preventive medicine. ACVPM diplomates pay an annual dues to remain active members of the organization. This allows them to connect with like-minded specialists and across disciplines, working on the topics listed on your screen and many, many more, all the while enhancing professional relationships and often forming lasting friendships based on shared experiences. For more information about ACVPM, including the requirements and fees to apply, visit acvpm.org.